Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be unboxing the Illumicrate Dark Dawn Special Edition and it is the Blood and Blades box and they have teased a lot of really cool items in this box and I'm so excited to get it. I actually just finished Dark Dawn. I already have these two copies which is the US signed first edition which is one that I read and annotated and the Dark Dawn UK Waterstones Sprayed Edges Edition, which is just so beautiful. And this will be my third copy of Dark Dawn, so let's get into it. I already read Dark Dawn, and let me just say I absolutely adored it. I don't want to go into too much detail because I'm going to have a whole reading vlog detailing my thoughts, but just know that it was so, so amazing. And this box is big and it is heavy. If you get like a normal book boxes like Owl Crate and Very Loot, they are not this big. This thing is ginormous and it's for book lovers. Oh, I was so excited to get it and I had to like go on the DHL website and create an account so that I could make sure that it was dropped off while I was at work because I wasn't home to sign for it. And oh my God, it's just so nice. This is actually going to be the first ever Illumicrate box that I'm opening. So I'm really excited to see how I like it. Okay, scissors. Here we go. This is really hard because it's so heavy. Aha. Ooh, it says, thanks for letting Illumicrate brighten up your day. That's so cute. And this is what the box, like, oh, oh no, the spoiler card fell, but this is what the box looks like when you open it. Blood and Blade, the Dark Dawn edition. And then on the back, it has a photo challenge. So first thing that I see is a blanket and I knew we were getting a blanket. And I'm very excited to see what the design is going to be. Oh, it is so soft. Wow. It's very floofy. Okay, what's on it? Oh, hello. Oh, it is ginormous. Okay. Oh, this is cool. It's the three suns and then a crow. Oh, this is so nice. And the wolf. gonna try I'm probably going to insert like another clip later with the full blanket but like it is perfect and it's not like so like heavily branded that like you could just see the blanket and think it's a nice blanket with a cool design but it's actually never night you can wear it as a cape oh also I'm wearing these cat ears in honor of Mr. Kindly Oh, it's so comfortable. Wow, I am in love with this blanket. It's so nice. Wow, this is such a high quality item. Here is the blanket in better detail. I had to lay it out on the floor so you could see, but it is so, so gorgeous. And it is designed by Yoshi Yoshitani. And it says, this gorgeous blanket will just about be big enough to soak up your dark dawn tears just enough. So pretty. Let's see what's next. Oh, bookmarks. So we have this bookmark here of Mr. Kindly and Eclipse, the shadow wolf and the shadow cat. Then we have Ashlyn, oh, Trick, and Mia Corvair. Wow, I just love character art and these bookmarks are really high quality and we have all of our faves. This is awesome. I'm so excited about this box. The character bookmark set is by Mer Wild. Then of course we have the printout of the deleted scene. I've actually already read it because I got the email with it, but I'm excited to have it in print because this was exactly what you think it is. And it is fantastic. Next is a mug. Ooh, it says good night on it. And then we have one of the sons on this side, Mr. Kindly and another son, and the third son. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, so it has Mr. Kindly, one of the sons, and then it has Mia reaching for Ashlyn with her red dyed hair. Wow. This is the Goodnight Kiss mug with artwork by Rosie Thorns 88, showing Mia and Ash fighting and flirting their way across the rooftops of God's grave. Oh, 
This is stunning. This is definitely going right on the shelf. And then of course we have our Mia Funko Pop. Oh wow, look at her. She is so badass. And the fact that they got all these exclusive Funko Pops for this box is awesome because I think I would like prefer a Funko over a plushie and she just looks so badass. She's gonna look great on the shelf. The Mia figurine is of course designed by a Lumicrate and she looks cute and murderous. We have a print of Mia and Trick. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. This art print is by Nan Fay. So many goodies. There's so much. Oh, it's a Not Cat Blood Orange Bath Bomb by Geeky Clean. Oh, cool. I can't smell it through the plastic, but I love bath bombs. Okay, what's this? Oh, cool. It's a necklace. So it is a necklace with the Corvair family crest on it. Beautiful. This Corvair crest necklace is by Danielle, otherwise known as at delendan.il. When all is blood, blood is all. And this is the magnetic necklace thing, and this is Mia. This pin is by Monolime Art. I love their art style. That's cool. Maybe I'll put it like on my fridge or something. It is a woodcut print of the Republic of Itria, which is where Never Die Chronicles takes place. And then on the back, it's this. My J. Kristoff shelf is going to be stuffed to the brim with stuff. This Itria wooden map is by Virginia Allen. And then the Three Sons logo is by James Orr. Okay, and this is cool. This is a Nevernight short form series extra. So this is an exclusive behind the scene look at the series starring Pierre Ford that is going to be coming out on YouTube sometime soon. So it's like interviews and stuff. That's really cool. You get a little script excerpt and an interview with Pierre. That's awesome. That's so cool. Okay, next up. <gasps> no way. This is awesome. These are designed by Fable and Black. Look at these. The Lady of Blessed Murder and Darken Pins. These are gorgeous. These are so high quality. Wow, I love these. I love them. These are so nice. Oh my god, there's how is there so more? Okay. So before I get to the book, underneath the book is this other print with the foil, that's really cool, of Mia, and she has her mask here, is the Hard at Work foil art print, which is by Ars28, and I love the gold detailing on it. And last but not least, we have the book. So it comes in this cool pouch, which I love, because you can use that for traveling, and it seems like, oh, hello. It is in a book sleeve with Mia, Ashlyn, and Trick. And then it says, however it ends, at least you had a story to tell. Whoa. So this is the book sleeve with quote design by Chatty Nora and this artwork by Mono Lime, which I absolutely adore. And then of course we open it up and the sprayed edges are the color that I thought that they would be, which is just so cool. Yes, it is Dark Dawn with yellow sprayed edges. This looks so cool. So, oh, and then we have a letter from Jay Kristoff, signed by the author. Ooh, the inside is different. That's cool. Wow. This was such a good box filled with so many goodies. I adore this series. I'm really happy that I went and got this exclusive edition, even if it's my third copy. I love collecting and there's no shame in that. So yeah, let me know down below if you got this box, if you liked it and what your favorite item was. I can't decide. There's so many good things here, but it might be this enamel pin set or the blanket. I don't know. There's just something about big floofy blankets with beautiful designs that I just adore. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. I'm so excited to get this box and I just had to open it on my channel. So have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.